hello my friends welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you some amazing ways you can use dollar tree window clings and stickers for some great decor and i'm excited to share so let's jump in hello my friend thank you so much for stopping by today i truly appreciate you spending some time with me i am going to be showing you some great diys today and i cannot wait so the first one is using this big old round wooden sign from dollar tree i'm giving it a nice coat of this white paint this is ivory white paint and i completely paint the entire thing now i do need mod podge to add my window cling but you can see here my mod podge is completely disgusting um i'm just cleaning that off that is super satisfying i do want to add a nice layer down not on the entire thing just yet just on the part where i know the window cling would touch um so i get a nice thin layer down and then i try my best to center out the window cling and get that right onto my sign and the good thing about the window clings is that if you do mess up and misplace it you can peel it up and it will still have some wiggle room um so that's good with the window clings uh you could just you know move it around if you do make that mistake but i'm gonna place it to the lower side of my sign because i do want to add some stuff on the top but it's up to you if you want to place it directly in the center once that's on there i do want to add a nice layer of mod podge over the over the entire thing but um i'm gonna make sure i do it on the entire sign now because if if you just put it on top of the window cling you are definitely going to tell once it's all dried. So just make sure you go over the entire sign. Now I'm going to go in with this green burlap ribbon. You can find this at Dollar Tree and I love the color because it ties in with the whole Christmas DIYs perfectly. I'm going to hot glue it along the top of my sign and that is why I placed the window cling to the bottom because I wanted to give it a little bit of decorative, you know, touch to the top. So I'm running this across my sign and just hot gluing it down to the back and you want to make sure that you place it in a way where it will go with the shape of the circle and it won't look funny once you turn it over in the front just make sure you fold it down nicely and then i do take this red ribbon that's really pretty with the gold merry christmas and i'm running that on top of the green burlap and this ribbon is from dollar tree as well i really love this one it looks so festive and high end i run i ran that across the green ribbon and now i'm going in with the same red one so i can make a nice little bow and i make my bows in the easiest way possible because i am not the greatest when it comes to making bows so i just do it the same way as i would tie my shoes nice and simple and then i add a nice dot of hot glue to the back and press it right down to the center of my sign and i do fix the tails up by folding the tail just like this in half and then cut it at an angle and you get those pretty tails that everyone loves so it's super simple just fold in half just like this and then cut up at an angle and you would get the look you are going for or you can just simply cut them if you don't like this look but that's what i did there and now i want to add these wooden snowflakes from dollar tree one of them broke but i thought it was perfect because i could add it here below the ribbon and it could look like it's falling down from behind it so i decided to go in with this gold paint marker and paint them gold so it can match the ribbon and i'm just going to do that and then i'll simply hot glue them down onto my sign and this sign is done and it came out absolutely beautiful i love it super simple to make as well my friend with the window cling of course you would have to let me know what you think because i love to hear your feedback next up my friends i have here this little star this is a wooden star this came off of one of dollar tree signs i did save it because i knew that i could make something out of it so today we are going to make a beautiful ornament and i love how this one turned out i am just giving it a nice coat of some mod podge on top because i want to add this beautiful plaid paper on top this came from hobby lobby and i am going to just press that down really nicely it does go on really well since it is 
um, you know, a small piece. So I barely got any bubbles when placing it down. And I do like to use my Cricut tool just to help me smooth out any bubbles. And then I just take my scissors and I'm going to cut all around the star, just removing all of that excess paper. And of course, we are going to take our sand block as well, just to sand down any excess that is hanging over the sides and edges of the star. Then I want to take this pack of stickers. This is from Target Dollar Spot. I really love these stickers because they are really nice and they're festive looking. And I think they match perfectly with this star. So I took the one that says Holiday Cheer. And I'm just going to place that down to the center of the star. And of course I'm going to go over it with another layer of Mod Podge. And you do want to work fairly quickly now because you don't want to rip the sticker or the paper. So just work fairly quickly to get that layer on top and let it dry really nice. And then once it's dry, I'm going to take my drill because I do want to drill a hole because after all, we do need to hang our ornament. So I'm just going to drill that hole and then just string some juicing right inside. And I do use the smallest bit for my drill that I have for that hole and then once I am done I am gonna string that string right inside and push it through and then I want to take this beautiful little snowflake with a bell this is from Dollar Tree and I want to place it on top of my star right here I thought that would look super pretty so what I'm gonna do is just take the string and put it through that center hole of the snowflake just like this and i'm gonna pull up and it's gonna naturally want to sit on top of the star almost so i'm just going to let it sit until i get it nice and tied at the top just make an, a nice little double knot to make sure it's nice and sturdy and of course you want to leave a loop so that it can hang on your tree then i'm going to go in with this gold paint marker and i want to trace around the trimming of the star all of the edges because i thought it would look super pretty with just that gold trim and it'll make it stand out even more and i'm i'm glad i decided to do this because i do end up loving how it looks so i just go really easily just like this tracing along the edges of my star and that was it for this diy and i absolutely love it my friends super simple to make and it is a great looking ornament i love it again you would have to let me know what you think and if you would give this a try and you can also personalize these ornaments instead of putting a sticker in the middle you could write a name or something like that so yeah i do love it let me know what you think Next up, my friend, I have here this beautiful checkered paper. This is also from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to make the cutest little present decor. I thought this would be super cute, for, you know, for obviously for decor. And um, if you like to make just, you know, presents to sit around uh, during the holiday season. So that is what I'm going to be making here. But this one is more for maybe a mantle, a shelf, a table, side table you know stuff like that or even for your office i think would look super cute so i'm just wrapping up this box here that you saw this is a box of chocolates that i decided to keep because you know us diyers we have to keep everything we never know when we're going to use it so um i'm just going to wrap up this little box here i thought it was perfect to make a little gift and i'm just cutting off the excess here as you can see of the sides because it is too long um, and now I'm just taping up the box around the edges that I already put down. And I'm just wrapping this as you would a regular gift. I'm not sure how your style of wrapping is, but however it is that you do it is the same way that you would wrap up this little box. So you can see here, I'm now doing the sides. I just push in the two edges there and then I fold down the two flaps just like that. And then I'll add my tape. And I'll show you here a little bit slower. Just push down the two edges like that. And I like to crisp them up just by my fingers. And then once it's down, I am going to hold it right in place with my 
arm and I'm gonna place down a few pieces of tape maybe just one or two to make sure it's nice and down and won't get messed up once the thing is once the box <laughs> the thing once the box is nice and wrapped I am going to take this ribbon that you saw from the previous DIY and I want to wrap it around this present I thought it tied in really nice and made the entire thing look festive and beautiful so I'm just tying it hot gluing it down to the back of the present just like this and in the front it's going to look so cute I do add a bow to the present as well using the same ribbon and I just use my hot glue gun just to press that down to the center of course you could put the bow off to the side it depends on how you want it to look but I just go ahead and place it in the center and I do put hot glue on the tails just to hold it down a little bit because I don't want them sticking up as they were how pretty it is turning out it is just too cute and I love it who would have thought you can just make a nice decor piece using a recycled chocolate box right I love it so now I'm gonna go in with one of these stickers I put holiday cheer found here and I'm gonna place that down to the center of my gift of course you don't have to add the sticker because it looks perfectly fine without it but again I am going to add it because I am showing you hacks and different ways you could use stickers and window clings so I added the one in the center and I love it now my friends if you would like to send out your mail this holiday season with some beautiful stamps this is the perfect time to check out the mail center because they have some beautiful stamps right now these are the two designs that they sent me and you get all of these front and back i mean it depends on the one that you want the quantity that you want but this is the other design with the beautiful birds i love them now you can see their website here they have some great deals going on right now and some great prices and it is the perfect time to get them because you know this is the time to be sending holiday cards and greeting cards all year you know all year round you do that but especially during the holiday season so go check them out right now the link will be in my description box you can see all of their beautiful designs i hope you do check them out so thank you to the mail center for sending me these beautiful stamps don't forget the link will be in my description box below now my friends i am going to get started on the last diy for today i have here this candle jar that i cleaned out i like to save some of my candle jars once they finish because they make the greatest diys and why not you already have the glass so just clean it out what i'd like to do is just stick them in a pot of boiling water um make sure they do not go inside of the jar though just put it about halfway so that way it can melt the candle that is left in there and then you have a nice clean jar so now i am gonna take that window clean that you saw me peel up of the reef there i thought it would look super pretty onto this jar so i placed it right there right on top of the sticky part of the jar where the label was because it just covered it up really nicely and then once that was on there i took some mod podge over it so that way it can seal it in and make it you know nice for us and it won't be going anywhere and once that's on i am going to take some juice string and just wrap it around the top of my jar to make it look nice and you know rustic festive and stuff like that i didn't even use hot glue i just held it with my finger until i started wrapping it a few times and as you do that the string will just naturally hold the end of the string and you won't need any hot glue at all so once that's on i am gonna go with some berries and add that there i do place two down and then this one is completely done i know super quick but this is super cute to add to your holiday decor and add a little candle inside to make it look nice and here's how that looks and i love it super simple my friend but it does look really beautiful and just as i said you know you can add it next to your holiday decor just to light a candle and it looks beautiful and festive 
I love it. You would have to let me know what you think. And of course, my friends, if you've enjoyed today's DIYs, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. That does help me out and to reach new viewers. Also, consider hitting the subscribe button so you can be a part of my YouTube family. I would love to have you. Happy holiday, my friend, and I will see you all on the next one. Take care. God bless. Bye.